one of the most important things for us to do when we sit down at the piano is get focused. Take some deep breaths, relax, forget about anything that's bothering us from the day, and just put our whole brain into what we're doing at the piano. That's really a good feeling and a good thing for your body. One of my favorite warm-ups is this one. And so forth. It's simple, it's slow, and it gives me a chance to focus, to breathe while I'm playing it, to forget about everything else that's going on. I learned this exercise many years ago from my teacher, Nancy Backus, and she picked it up from another teacher named Paul Barnes. Um, it's been one that I come back to every time that I warm up before a performance or even just when I'm playing at home. There are a few things you can do with this exercise to make it meet your needs wherever you're at right now. The way it works is you play one and five. White keys, C and G works to start. That motion does two things. It works on your drop into the keys with a heavy dropping motion. It also works on the arch in your hand. Between one and five, we should be creating an arch or bridge shape under the hand. Be careful that when you play that, your hand doesn't fall flat or also that it doesn't squeeze between your thumb, there shouldn't be a squeezing in under the palm of your hand. Instead, tall, balanced, just like a bridge. Make sure you're finding that first. From there, we transfer to finger two and four like this. And we follow through with that lift. So this is similar to our two note slur technique where we do drop, transfer, and lift. We're slowing it down and kind of controlling every part of that, and really, again, focusing on it. Drop, transfer. You might not get that right away. It takes some practice. After you lift, you can go to the next note of the scale, start with D and A, do the same thing again. And that's an exercise you can live with your whole life. If you wanna make it a little more interesting or a little more challenging, you can add an octave jump. Let me show you how to do that. We start again at C with the fifth and the third. A fifth is the distance between the two notes. A third is the distance between the two notes. We call those intervals. Fifth, five note distance, third, three note distance. And at this point, instead of just going a step higher, I'm going to go a full octave higher. So from C up to C. I'll show you that. Middle C, octave higher back to D, next note up, and the octave jump, and so forth like that. E, octave jump. This could even go faster. If you're ready, down, up, octave jump. This moves your arm a little bit more, and that's part of piano playing. We need to warm up our arms as well as our fingers. Another challenge is both hands, doing both at the same time, Notice that I always start this slowly. It's not important to go fast on this exercise. Slow and focused is good. Both hands, octave jumps. A third thing you can do with it is add pedal. If you're working on your pedal technique, this is a great chance to practice pedal down, pedal change, lift, pedal, change when you change the chord. A pedal change is a quick up and down with your foot. Listen again. I'm adding a pedal change when my notes change. Listen to what happens if I don't do that. Muddy sound. Too much in the same pedal. With the pedal change, we clear that. so that we don't blend those sounds together. Those are some things you can do with this really simple exercise. Um, you can even transpose it to other keys. 
Maybe you're working on the key of G and you want to add an F sharp in there. Um, maybe you're working on a louder sound and you want to add some dynamics to it. There's a lot you can do with just that basic warm up. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Amy. Don't forget to hit subscribe and tap the notification bell. And be sure to check out the Playground Sessions interactive app. I'll see you soon for the next lesson video.